Hi friends, Pam Shepard with Pamela Shepard Productions here. And today I'm going to make some bowl cozies, little bowl covers for bowls in the microwave and to eat hot soups or noodles or whatever. And I'm making them for my grandkids. And so I'm gonna make some girly ones first. One of them will be the inside and one will be the outside, but they will be reversible. I've started with 10 inch by 10 inch pieces of fabric, one for the inside, one for the outside, and two 10 inch pieces of batting that goes on each piece of the fabric that I have. So what we're going to do to start off with, we'll take the one piece of 10 inch fabric and we'll put it on the batting and we're going to go from corner to corner and from corner to corner. You can iron it or you can mark it. I have this pen that I use pretty often that's a disappearing ink pen. I'm gonna touch it with an iron real quick to, to get my line. Then the other one I'll use um, my disappearing ink so you can watch me use that. So here we go. I'm gonna start right in the corner. One nice thing is I'm gonna be in the, right in the middle. And then what we're going to do is go the exact opposite direction. We're going to go from this corner to that corner. So I'm going to have to move my needles or my pins out of the way. Okay, so I just eyeballed it. I think it did okay. Um, so that's the one piece. Then we'll take the next piece, which is a stripe, and we will do the same thing. The batting is a little bit almost, it grabs onto it. <laughs> you want to use cotton fabric and cotton batting the reason being um you know then it can go in the microwave it can have hot and it won't melt or anything so you want to use cotton okay so i'm going to use this Ooh. i'm going to write it on that side it is disappearing ink i've never really used it enough to worry about the disappearing part of it okay all right, so we're going to sew it from this side. <laughs> I've actually never done that before, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm sure it's fine. I got my disappearing ink pen. I got it from Joann's. And I got the batting from Joann's. And actually, um, got this fabric from uh, Walmart. It's what's left over. My sister made a baby blanket for my grandbaby out of this and this there was some left over so she gave it to me okay so we have the two pieces now we're going to take this piece and we're going to fold it exactly in half and mark it across the short side one inch because we're going to take darts one inch and then we're going to go down the long side two inches then i'm going to take and i'm going to do a straight line across from the two and then we're going to sew that and we'll do the same thing here the short way it's one inch down the long folded side it's two inches and then we're going to make us a line across there 
and then we're going to sew that real quick. So let me put you up to the machine, zoom it in, and here we go. Oh, I don't have my bright light on, there we go. Now this one I am going to back stitch it because I'm going to cut the excess off and I want it to hold good. Okay. And then we'll do it on this side as well. I'm going to Cut the threads. Okay. So, and I'm going to cut pretty close, maybe what, quarter of an inch from that seam to get the bulk out of the way. So we don't want that bulk there. And then we're going to do the same over here. We're going to cut about a quarter of an inch from the seam. We're going to turn this exactly the opposite way. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to measure over one inch on the short side. I lost my pen. Oh, here it is. It's so invisible it disappeared. <laughs> and then we'll go down two inches. Okay. Then we're going to come across here and make us a line and do the same on this one. Go across one inch on the short side and go down two inches and then we're going to do a line to have those two meet. Okay. All right, here we go. All righty. Okay, I'm gonna do this side exactly the same. Oops, lost my half mark, there we go. We're going to start there and go to our next. Okay. We're going to snip this thread and this thread. Okay. Then we're going to take my favorite sharp scissors. See, they're um, spring-loaded, and it's the Ginger, or however you pronounce it, G-I-N-G-H-E-R. I love these. Um, and you're going to cut them about a quarter of an inch. They're so nice and sharp. I really like them a lot. And I got them spring because I thought, you know, where they spring-load, and then you take this piece right here and push across there and hold them. Oh, you can't even see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so I don't even have you where you could see what I was doing, sorry. Yeah, I cut a, uh, the excess of the corners off and I'm using my favorite handy dandy scissors, the G-I-N-G-H-E-R, and these are spring loaded so you have to unhook them and they just pop open and you just push them down and it opens for you and so you don't have to if you have arthritis or whatever it won't hurt your hand okay so there's the first half now we're going to do the exact same thing on the polka dotted one on the short side we're going to go one inch and down the side we're going to go two inches we're going to draw the line in between the two and oops, 
There we go. Stitch that. And then we're going to do the same here. We're going to do one inch on the short side up here at the top. And then we're going to do two inches. And then we're going to draw the line in between the two. Let me make sure I have this nice and straight before I do that. Okay. So we're going to go between those two. Okay. And we're going to sew that up. turn it around and do the same on this side. Let's go down here, and once again, we're going to take my favorite little scissors here, sharp. We're going to take off about a fourth, and only leave about a fourth of an inch by the seam. Oops, my hand kind of slipped. Okay, so then we're going to turn it and do the exact same thing on this side. So you do it on all. Uh, sides of both of them. Okay, so we're going to take these two pieces. We're going to take the polka dot one and we're going to take the stripe. We need both of the uh, main pieces face to face together. And I don't think it really matters whichever way you go with the stripes. Some fabric would matter, but this doesn't matter. Um, oh, wait. I forgot to cut these two piece, these pieces off, didn't I? The quarter, um, just leaving a quarter of an inch there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll put the two right sides together, and we're gonna pin these along the way. You can pin them or clip them either way. Um, I have both. I have clips you know, that I can use as well. Or pans, it doesn't matter either way. Now, one thing we do need to do is we need to leave a section uh, open so we can turn it right side out when we're finished. So when we get around to this side, we'll mark us a place so we won't get uh, mess up and sew it completely shut. Okay. You do want to finish all the corners, so you'll only want to leave an open space in, on the inside because you, you'll need to make sure the corners all come out. So we'll, we'll just keep going around. And you want to take about a good quarter inch to maybe even a half an inch around the outside edge. Now, this is my last side, so I think I'm just going to come on both sides and leave it, even though there's seams there, uh, leave it open kind of like in the middle, because you do want to have your corners sewn um, this time. All right, so we're going to sew it. Let's start about right here so that I can come around and stop over there. So I'm going to put you up to the sewing machine again. And I'm going to zoom it in. I'm just going to leave the needle down and lift up my foot and my uh, press, press Just turn it. You 
gonna have to kind of go with the design of the, you know, where it swoops in just a little bit. You do have to follow that. Okay, I'm gonna leave the needle down. Yeah, I probably should go one more. There, and then I'll turn it. some little granddaughters that these little pink ones are going to be for and they love to eat noodles <laughs> so I think this is the perfect now see I'm going to move this and I know that I'm going to stop right here okay alrighty then now <laughs> cut this and cut this so what I'm going to do here I'll put it down and show you at this point, I'm going to uh, cut the corners off a little bit, not getting into the seam, but just leaving a little bit, and do this one, and this one, and this one, so we get those corners off of there. We don't have sharp. Then we're going to find our space that we left open, which is right here, and we're going to start turning it right side out. And you do want these corners nice and poked out. So I use a, one of my uh, bone folders from my craft room with where I do paper crafting. And this one is uh, my least favorite for paper crafting, so I brought it down here and it works perfectly for these corners. So I'm going to poke the corners out. I want those to poke out and turn it all the way. I want this corner to poke out. That's why you want to go around and get the corners completely done and not leave it the place where you uh, turn it. And then you can decide, you know, which side you want out. It's actually reversible, so it doesn't matter. Either side can be out. Um, so I'll put the polka dots inside. Then what you're going to want to do is take this this place that was completely left open. <clears throat> you're going to turn it up, turn it down both sides. And um, I what I like to do I like to turn them down about a quarter of an inch or however much that makes it even. Yeah, right about in there. And then what I really like to do is I iron it real quick because it holds it in such nice, a uh, nice place, and it makes it so much easier to sew. I think. Okay, see how much easier that is going to be to sew. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way around the whole entire outside. Now you could, if you wanted to, you could. Um, hand stitch that or you could just you know whip that up and it, that would be all done but anyhow I go I usually go all the way around about a fourth of an inch anywhere an eighth to a fourth is great but I'm gonna do a fourth I take a seam ripper or anything that you can get a hold of it and then I just pull it through like that <laughs>
Alrighty. So here we go. We are at the end. So we're going to snip our little strings. And there you have the little uh, bowl cozy. It's so adorable, isn't it? I love it. And like I said, it is reversible. Here's the string here. You can have the polka dots inside and the stripes on the outside either way. And there's your bowl cozy. You put your bowl in there, you eat your hot soup or your noodles. And um, my niece said she gives her little girl oatmeal, hot oatmeal in hers, but she always puts a you know, a, a dish rag or a dish towel or something under it, but she's going to get one of these now. She won't have to worry about it. She'll have her own little bowl cozy. And then what I made the other one. <clears throat> I'll show you portions of the one I made for the boys. What I did with theirs was used leftover pieces of jelly roll. Uh, I, I had more ma some masculine looking jelly roll pieces which some of them I don't have rolled up right now, but you know, they're the two and a half inch pieces that go on jelly rolls. And that's what I did theirs with. I sewed it together just like I did when I was uh, doing my quilt as you go. And so I made some for the boys as well. But uh, aren't those adorable? I think they're just perfect. I love them. And so, yeah, there you have it. Such a perfect, Valentine gift with some candy. <laughs> Maybe I'll put the candy in these. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Um, I hope that you've had a wonderful day, and I hope that God blesses you. Um, you know, I have a whole different, <laughs> almost a different outlook on life since the, since I had COVID, and I feel so thankful to be alive and um, look at life differently, and. Um, I just want you to know that uh, prayer does matter. It really, I think it saved my life. I really think I was going to die. And I, I want you to enjoy each day as much as you can. Even today is the four years my baby sister died, and we only knew one week before she died. She was 59, and I thought that my heart was broken into a bazillion pieces. I don't cry every day now. I just have some days that are a little bit tougher than others, but I loved her so much and she was so fun. And um, But God really does help me and strengthen me and um, helps me through lots of, lots of stuff. So anyhow, I hope you make some of these. I think they're pretty fun and they're, as you can see, they're not very hard, so. And I'm not, I don't have them perfect, so you don't have to do perfect, that's for sure. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this, give me thumbs up. I, I really like thumbs up. Make some kind of comment for me uh, to see, see what you think about these, if you like them. And um, those of you that are subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And you have a very blessed day. God bless you all, and I, I will keep you in my prayers today. You have a wonderful day, and I'll see all you good people later, okay? Bye-bye.